Howdy folks. Today is February the 11th, 2022, and today is maintenance day. I was getting kind of low on weights yesterday in the boat, so I decided we're going to make a few. And I thought I'd bring you along and show you how I make my weights. I'm going to make some, some slinky weights uh, for dragging, and I'm also going to make some anchor weights. I, I bought a new mold today. Well, I, I got it today uh, for bottom bouncing, so I'm going to make some cannonballs. So come along for the ride. I'm going to take you out to the lead shed. That's where we're going to pick up. Okay, guys, you got to kind of forgive my mess. This, this is a kind of a catch-all room, but it's my lead room. Uh, this is what I've got going on. I've already started. I made these the other day. These are the weights I'm going to use uh, for... If I was anchored out fishing, I got made some twos and some threes and some fours. And then I've got these slinkies I made. I've already kind of pre-made these. I'm going to show you what I, how I do it. I, I've got lots of molds. I make bullet molds and whatnot. This is for buckshot. That's a, I have a mold for that. Now, so I pour them out. And you stuff them in that. I got some just some neoprene cases there I put them in. So I stuff them in there, however many I think I need, and then I, I melt the ends and smash them with a pair of pliers. So I've already made those, and then I'll take a piece of a little piece of wire and heat it up with a torch and melt a hole in it, and then I put a clip on it, and that'll be my slinky weights. And right now we're making some cannonballs. We're getting ready to make some cannonballs. You can watch me pour those and then put these clips on there. So that's what I'm doing right now. I thought I'd kind of fill you in on what's going on. So hang in there. I'm getting ready to suit up for pouring some lead. All right, got my glasses on, my gloves. And you got to make sure well ventilated you don't want to be breathing these lead fumes i got the door standing wide open so we're doing good yeah looks like we're ready to go all right i've already got this mold loaded with the clips Now the first pour, I'm going to pour them, I'm going to fill the mold, okay, they're all full, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it sit there for just a little bit, <clears throat> what that does, that's warming up that mold, I did have the mold sitting on top, so the mold was pretty warm. But I'm going to leave that lead in there for just a second. <clears throat> and that'll really get it hot. Alright. There we go. There's finished product. There they are. No, I'll, I'll twist them little rigs off of there. And that's how we make a cannonball. We got a four and a half, three and a half, two and a half, and a one and a half. We'll let them cool off. I'll put clips on them. I'll probably make, I don't know, I'll probably make a dozen of the popular one. I'll probably use these two a lot. I'll make a, I don't know, half a dozen of those. But anyhow. I'm just going to show you one full round by me loading the clips in it. This mold gets hot to work with. And then pouring. And then I'll show you just putting the clips on it. <clears throat> These are uh, for the size weights that I'm making. I had to order these clips. 
<clears throat> and <clears throat> these are a size one. Okay, got all the clips loaded. And close it up. Put your glove on. I don't want to spill none of that hot lead on it. That's all there is to that. Get back up there. All right. Now we gotta make a bunch more. Okay. Now, now that this mold is getting hot. I found me a little peak pair of these needle nose pliers to hold that clip. Can really kind of precise and fine tune like doing an operation here. <laughs> Got my screwdriver. I push down on pushes them down in that slot. They kind of lock in there so that makes it real nice. What are you doing, Hoove? Hoover's out here helping me. Hoove. Here, say hi to everybody. Hey, Hoove. You're on film, buddy. <laughs> What's out there? Huh? What are we doing? Yeah, that's my helper. He keeps me company. That's my daughter's dog, so that's my grand dog. I do a lot of babysitting. He's my buddy. All right, we're loaded up. Put my gloves on. Guys, wear the eye protection in the gloves. It, you just don't never know when something's gonna happen. It's not worth getting burned over. That lead is hot, hot. Six to eight hundred degrees, depending on how you've got it set. On you, I'll tell you that. Now I put this is a brand new mold. I just opened it up 20 minutes ago. And what I use on these molds for for an easy release, oh, I use this Frankfurt Arsenal dropout. I can't tell if you can see me or not. That's what I use. I spray the mold and it only takes about I don't know, a couple minutes for it to dry. And then I set it on top of there to warm it up and that dries it. But that lead, man, I mean it just drops right out of there. So, let's reload. Works good, works good. What is this, my third or fourth pour? One, two, three, four. That's my fourth pour. This will be my fifth pour. I'm only going to pour six with, with all the sizes. Okay, close it up. It's loaded, ready to roll. <clears throat> You guys like corn on the cob? That's my that's my lead pile. <laughs> I've got a an old cornbread old cornbread dish. That's right there. That's how I make my ingots. I melt down tire weights and put them in there. That's a whole nother process making my lead. But I got a lot of lead. Okay, 
That's five. Some more of these little guys. Okay. <clears throat> that lad's putting off, there that uh, mold is putting off some heat. And it also helps when you're doing this if you don't do like I do and drink coffee all day. I got the jitters, my hands are shaking. Okay. We're doing hoof. He's keeping an eye on Poppy. He keeps a close eye on me. He loves to fish. As, probably as much as I do. Because I don't lick every single catfish I catch. He does. And crappie. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's six. So now we're going to drop down. I'm just going to do the two biggest ones. That one didn't make all the way. All right. But I want my clip back, so I'm just going to take it, hold it with my little pair of pliers, and I'm going to dip it in there and get the lead off of it. got a clean hot clip that thing's making some crazy noises Okay, two biggest ones. Okay, guys what I'm going to make and now I'm going to put my clips on I just bought these uh, quick clips and on my rod I run that I showed you the other day on a different video I, I run a piece of aquarium hose with a hole melting through it and anyway then I can whatever weight whatever weight I put on there I can put the clip on there so that's my that's my slinky weight that one's done and then put these clips put one on these cannonballs just like so that's a ounce and a half Some of them's kind of warm. Anyway, I just want to show you that's that's what I'm doing here. All the pictures I made that I don't really need to keep in the boat. So that's what I'm doing. <clears throat> if you guys like this video, hit the like button and please subscribe. And you might even hit that little bell. That'll notify you when I put another one out. You guys know the drill. Hey been fun. We'll see you next time.